Hello people, welcome back to follow that. I hope you're doing well. Now then, we are doing the Orbital Cannon today. The most powerful weapon in the game, bar none. So, first of all, to get this, you need to have a facility. So if you go to Maze Bank here, and then if we click Facilities at the top, you'll see we have this set of bunkers. Huge ones here that you can just click on it, and they're not cheap let's face it, but neither is the Orbital Cannon, so it's a bit of a rich man's game. But anyway, go to Kaya Perico, a few trips there, and you'll have plenty of change. Here we go. So Maze Bank, here we go, so you can buy it, that one there, nearly 2 mil, and here is one that earlier was, my one's up here, so you can go back in, renovate it, and in this menu, you see here Orbital Cannon, I'd already selected it, that's where you select it and buy. So when you're purchasing the property, that's one of the options. So we've done that. We're in the massive, massive facility. These things are absolutely huge. Okay, right. Now then, first up, we need to find someone to target. So this guy, I think, has got God Mode or he's a modder up here. So it seems like a good person to target. So I'm just kind of hanging around here. I was firing him a bit before just to get him to go for me. And there we go. What daddy ship? Anyway, I will remember that. I'll remember that name. So let's go back into the bunker. And we're going to have our revenge. To be fair to the guy, he didn't actually do anything particularly bad. It wasn't like a griefer who's just been following us around, which is when he want to be using this. Someone's just being really, really annoying, and there's plenty of that. Then this is a good way to get back, and it will be an extremely expensive one. <laughs> All right, so in the massive facility, so this one in the desert, if you see on there, we've got orbital cannon, top right, and so I'm going up to the left, and it's, and it's down there, it's a long <laughs> way so it's worth just checking out the route before you start wandering around your facility wondering where on earth you're supposed to be and i'm down there okay so let us go yep so up there and to the left and for the entrance you will see here you see that guard there he is our armed guard all right mate no you can't bump into him okay through the metal detector no weapons work in here, so you have the weapons menu, but you can't actually select one. This is a massive team of people. Sweet. There we go, that's our reception services. Normally, I'm afraid, <laughs> in the way that they've um, coded it, you're normally just looking really bored and doing her nails. I think it's the first time I've ever even gone there, so I'm not surprised he's a little bit bored in her job. Okay, here we go. So that's our room, and we are inside the orbital cannon. So we tap to select it. There's our map of Los Santos. Revenge, if it's that, it's gonna be sweet. So surveillance, we can either just watch watch them. Manual targeting, so it's a little bit harder to get them, or automatic here, you just select your person and... No! Oh dear, our target is gone. <laughs> you got wise to us. I don't, I took too long to get here. Oh no. It's going to have to be some random person who's going to be wondering, what did I do to deserve getting orbital cannon by someone? I can say I was, as you saw, 800,000. Change from Kaya Perico, let's face it, if you do it yourself, solo, get over a million for that. But it's pretty bonkers, it's quite extreme. So I would say, griefers only, extreme griefers on oppressors, once in a while, it's quite fun to do. So, um, who's at the top? Sorry, my friend, I have... I don't even know who you are. You haven't been griefing me, but there we go. So, then we get into the menu. So, it's automatic, so it will follow them. There we are, active. And it's worth saying you have to keep keep your finger down. So, I've got an Xbox controller here. You have to hold it down. You don't just press it and it will fire. See, it's showing active there. You have to hold it down for those three seconds of countdown. So, there it's active. Now, I'm holding it down. Three, two, one. Bang! There we go. You obliterated, and you get a little. Um, you see, top right there. It's it's an achievement to use the orbital cannon. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a coward's weapon, isn't it? It's not really doing very much. So it's 
the ultimate kind of petty revenge tool. And then you notice here, you can't use it for 48 minutes after you've used it. And that's real world. It's not GTA quick minutes. And just to show you on that. So originally when I started using I was thinking about going into a new session, maybe leaving the game, coming back in. Particularly for this video, I wanted to try out a few different things. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. Now, part of the challenge of these facilities is they're so huge, it takes minutes to get back out again. But you can use, here we go, our reception services, Pegasus Concierge. You can select a helicopter to fly you out. Here we go. So these are the ones that I have. Well, actually, what I want to do is go out in... There we go. There's the Annihilator down here. Let's go out and start. Now, you have to... For that one, using that particular one, if there's one of them that's greyed out, you have to buy it. And equally, you can get all your snacks from reception. So, you can either get them one by one, or let's see, press X for the um, take, take all, and you'll get the entire lot filled out. So it's quite kind of useful. Like I said, I haven't really used the service very much, but I'll be back. Thank you so much. Do look still extremely bored, but anyway, we'll gloss over that. Okay, so for that Annihilator, what I need to do is, if I buy that, then it'll appear in the menu. And unlike some of the cars that you buy, we have to wait a few minutes to get an email. It's actually instant. It will appear in that menu. So it's an expensive day, this, isn't it? 800,000 on the, on the Canon. 1,800,000 and a bit on the Annihilator just to show you stuff in this video. So there we go. The Annihilator is now there. So you can leave A in style and B quicker. So there we go. Just clicked on that and then I'm straight out. So it saved me a couple of minutes. And equally, we have the machine gun, which is great. Okay, so... I'm just going to show you now, if we try and go into a new session, so I'll even try just completely leaving GTA Online, and I'll show you about that that 48 minute counter that unfortunately it does not get reset. So, here we go. Let's just leave the game uh, online, leave GTA Online, let's go and join who we've got. Michael, Trevor, Franklin. Who have we got? There we go. We are. Yep. It is Michael. So let's quit there. Go on, Michael. Have a little bit of fun. Go on, blow some stuff up quickly. And then we'll go back into GTA. <laughs> All right. So we go back in. So it's not even starting a new session. It's just completely going in fresh. And that timer is still active, as I will show. So we're back in the room. Um, click to get back in there. And then we want to cause some more chaos. So let's have a look. So what was it before? Yeah, there you go. 32 minutes still to go. Obviously, I cut a bit while I was messing around. But I'm um, the Annihilator. But that's it. So I hope that's useful. Take care, people. I will speak to you soon. Cheers.